Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my Celebrate wine bottle tag. Um, I'm sure that quite a few people will be heading off to New Year parties very soon um, and or even maybe just going around to somebody's for a meal and to celebrate the festivities um, and it's quite common nowadays isn't it to take a bottle with us. Now this actually is my bottle of Books Fizz for Christmas morning. Um, I don't generally drink but I do like a glass of Bucks Fizz on Christmas morning um, and may indulge in the odd pink gin that has suddenly become my favourite. No name shall be mentioned as to who got me onto that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I thought well let's do something that people can use and so this lovely glittery shiny celebrate wine tag is just perfect. So I'm going to show you how to make it and I'm going to do it identical just because I think it is so pretty. Just let's try and squeeze it on there a little bit so it sits straight. There we go. So, where have I put it? Right, it's here. So we need to start off with, and I'm using grey granite here because it goes with the DSP that I'm using. Um, you will need to score... Sorry, let me start again. Deep breath, start again. Right, so your cardstock needs to be 9 inches by 4 inches, which is 23 by 10 centimetres, and we are then going to score it at 6 inches, which is 15 centimetres. Okay, once we've done that, move that out of the way and get all of my bits out of the way. So once we've done that, you then need to punch your circle. Now you can eyeball it if you want to, or you can mark it. So obviously this is four inches, so I will mark it at the two inch point. And then this is three, so I need the one and a half inch point. So I'm just gonna put across there, and so I know that that is roughly where the center of my punch needs to be. I'm using the two inch circle punch. So I was running up and downstairs, that's why I'm out of breath. Um, the dogs were barking as usual and I was trying to sort stuff out, give them a treat to be quiet for a while. So I've got the cross roughly in the centre of my circle, which will obviously then give you the circle for your um, bottle to go through. Once you've done that, we then want to run this pretty little bit of cardstock through um, the embossing folder. And I have used the scattered sequins, which I think is lovely, but I must remember this time to do it the right way round. Girls, be quiet, please. So I've got my spritzer just to stop my card um, cracking and creasing too much. So I'll give that there. And then this will actually fit perfectly in your folder. So it actually lines up with your score line. So I'm going to grab my Big Shot and this is a dynamic embossing folder therefore all I need is my Big Shot platform. Pop your embossing folder on your platform making sure that the join of your embossing folder goes into this first and then you just need your top sandwich to sit on the top and then we just run it through. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to just add these because I'm going to be using this again in a moment. So I'm just going to pop that in ready. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Just move it out of the way. Move those out of the way. And bring this back in. So there is my beautifully embossed uh, tag now and then you can obviously just fold this and burnish it now you've done that embossing and then we just need to decorate it. So I have two um, of my layered ovals. This is the gorgeous Broadway bound DSP and then another oval of the grey granite uh, cardstock. So for starters, I'm going to stamp onto this. So I've simply used thoughtful banners 
and I've gone with celebrate here. Now obviously if you wanted to change it you could use congrats or thank you, anything but as I say I was going with the idea of New Year so I thought celebrate would be ideal for this. So I've already got that on a block and I haven't got my grey granite ready. There it is. And so I'm simply just random stamping. I love random stamping. I think it's the best because you just, you don't have to go with anything being too perfect. Just stamp stuff anywhere and everywhere. I can hear my dogs playing again. Okay, so just a little bit of random stamping there. That's the, whoops, that's that bit done. And then this gets stuck onto here. So I'm just going to grab my snail. Oops, that's not playing. Okay, what's happened here? Oh, the tape's folded itself somehow. Let's try that. There we go, that's better. So that simply gets stuck onto here. Lovely jubbly. And then on the back, I'm going to add, sorry, I'm kind of listening to my dogs. They, they're like children. They want to play up the second I'm busy or not giving them attention. <laughs> so four um, dimensionals on the back there. And then I'm going to drop four glue dots, so two either side, in between my dimensionals. Just to pop them there. And then I have my gorgeous gold sequin trim that is at the end. I have another roll, don't panic. So... The first piece, make sure if you're sticking it on that you've got the good side stuck down. So that will be the first piece. Oh my goodness, I'm getting all stuck. And then this piece, will it fit? Oh look at that. It's as if it was meant to be. Trim that bit off there. And so that now can be stuck onto here. Take the backings off and then simple oh, now the cat's playing. So now I'm going to stick that just onto the centre. I'm going to grab some of my gorgeous punches, three quarters of an inch and one half inch. Whoops. And some of my lovely glimmer. So I want two of the larger circles and then I'm going to go with three smaller ones and this is why I think I've said before I keep these off cuts because they just things like this that's perfect size for and again with my glue dots <laughs> I'm just going to stick them on to the sequin the glimmer paper and then again, just going to place these randomly on here. Just to add, they weren't meant to be in four corners, but that's how they've ended up. And then some gold, some of the gold metallic pearls that again, I've just added just here and there because it's New Year and we need to add some bling. <laughs> so that will do for them. And then the last piece we need to do is the celebrate word, which I've used the celebrate you thinlets. So we've got the celebrate. So I'm gonna pop that to one side. Now you can use these um, amazing multi-purpose adhesive sheets um, you take the backing off, stick your card onto it and then you run it through the big shot and then you just take the backing off and you have um, your perfect uh, die cut that has 
the adhesive already on the back. Now, I'm not going to use those. And the reason being, if I come back to my original one, let's take it off. The C and the E don't actually stick to the card. And so I thought if I do that, it's just going to be sticky. And then it'll end up sticking in the wrong place and just getting in a mess. So I decided to go with using the fine tip glue pen, which is what I used on that one and works perfectly. So I've run that through with my um, precision base plate. I always forget the name of that, it's very annoying. I think it's because it's, oops, because it's upside down. I don't think that it will be, I don't see the name. Does that make sense? Okay, so this, as you can see, just pretty much comes out straight away anyway. And then you can just take it out of the bit you've cut. And then I just have a couple of little bits here that I need to just pop out. And so there is my gorgeous die cut. Bring back my tag. And then I'm just grabbing my fine tip glue pen, which as I said, I will now adhere from the E. And I'm only doing the long sweep, so I'm not doing every single part, all the way to the T. And then just pop it in the center and if you're anything like me you can either use a stamp to hold it down till the adhesive stuck or else I use one of my clear blocks and I just press it down wait for it to stick which is probably not helping the fact that I have these <laughs> metallic pearls in the center but it will stick and that is your beautiful bottle label which I think is really pretty and I'm actually going to use to take to my mum's I think. Hope you like them, hope it's inspired you to create them or create something similar to take with you to any of your new year parties and I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a great Christmas. See you all again soon. Bye!